What's up, everybody? This is Gabriel Morales from Lake Red Memoir. And on this channel, we drink and create memories together. Today, on this new episode, we're here to create three different cocktails with Desarono. And if you haven't seen it, I made a couple cocktails with Desarono, so make sure to check that video out. I'll leave the link above here somewhere. Without further ado, let's get behind the stick. The first Amaretto cocktail we're making will be a riff on the classic Amaretto Sour. First add a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Bitters are like the chef's seasoning in the bartending world. There's many kinds and a few dashes enhances your drink. Next up, some juices. First add 3 quarter ounce or 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then add one ounce or 30 mils of fresh pineapple juice. Like other fruit juices, this tastes so much better when freshly squeezed. It also gives you an incredible foam if shaken well. I juice my pineapples using a juice extractor. Usually, in Amaretto Sours, bartenders would add some whiskey to add more proof and to also balance out the sweetness of the liqueur. Instead of whiskey, I'm using Rum Bar, a white Jamaican overproof rum. It'll add more body, bite, and character to this cocktail for half an ounce or 15 mils. So in order to add the passion fruit flavor, I'm gonna use passion fruit liqueur from Jaffard. This stuff is delicious. A little goes a long way though. Pour 3 eighths of an ounce or 10 mils. Finally, add one and a half ounces or 45 mils of your favorite Amaretto. I'm using Disarono, of course. Add ice to your shaker and glass and give this a good hard shake. Since I'm using fresh pineapple juice, I'm only shaking with about three medium sized cubes and shaking for a bit longer than usual. That way, I may achieve a nice foam. Another thing you could do is simply shake with ice for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then get rid of the ice, not the cocktail of course, and shake again. This is also known as the reverse dry shake, and it would also give you a very nice foam to your cocktail. Once done shaking, double strain your cocktail into your favorite chilled cocktail glass. I'm using this short stem sort of rocks glass. And for garnish, I'm simply adding a dehydrated lemon. And there we have an Amaretto passion fruit sour. Oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. It's really delicious. All the flavors are combining really well. The Amaretto gives it a, right, a really nice nuttiness. You get a lot of tropical notes from the passion fruit and the pineapple. Everybody should try this. This is very simple yet delicious. Let's go ahead and make another drink. The second drink is gonna be a riff on the pina colada. Pina coladas are my guilty pleasure drinks. In my opinion, even a bad pina colada is delicious. I'm not biased, I'm just Puerto Rican. First, let's add some bitters. A couple dashes of bitter mints chocolate mole bitters. Then add half an ounce or 15 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. Also add half an ounce or 15 mils of thick coconut cream. For this riff, I wouldn't add more than that. If you do, it'll be way too sweet. Next up, half an ounce or 15 mils of banana liqueur, which is the same brand from the passion fruit liqueur I used in the first drink. Add one ounce or 30 mils of fresh pineapple juice. Juice them pineapples. I believe in you. Then add three quarter ounce or 22.5 mils of amaretto and one ounce or 30 mils of aged Jamaican rum. Add ice to your shaker and shake. Strain it into a large chilled rocks glass or even a tiki mug if you have one and add crushed ice. Add more crushed ice, garnish with a couple pineapple fronds and then serve with a straw. You thought I was done with ice? Nope! Add more ice. Then finish this off with a generous amount of freshly grated nutmeg and there's your amaretto colada. Oh, 
This is fantastic. It's super tropical. It's very refreshing. I'm going in a little trend here, but this is very good. And that Jamaican rum, it's making wonders. But now let's make a third and final drink. Okay, this third drink is for you folks that are starting to fall asleep while watching this long video. First, let's add some Amaro. This is optional, by the way, but if you have it, I highly encourage you to give it a shot. Add a teaspoon or five mils of Fernet Branca. Then add a quarter ounce or 7.5 mils of Housemate or Zat. This is an almond syrup. If you can't make it at home, there's a great alternative you can buy on Amazon. I'll leave the affiliate link below. As for Amaretto, add one ounce or 30 mils of Disarono. Then also add one ounce of 30 mils of chilled espresso. This next ingredient, you may or may not heard of it before. This is Mr. Black, a cold brew coffee liqueur. They also have an Amaro. Both work perfectly with this recipe. But if you use the Amaro, I would not add our first ingredient, which was Fernet. Another great alternative is Jay Rieger's Coffee Amaro. I have some of these bottles in hand, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for a comparison of these coffee-based products. As for spirits, you may use vodka, but I like to go a little crazy here. So I'm using tequila. You wanna go crazier? Use mezcal. Honestly, use one ounce or 30 mils of your favorite white spirit. Add ice to your shaker and grab your chilled cocktail glass and shake it as hard as you can for about 15 to 20 seconds. You want to shake this one up pretty hard. Get that beautiful espresso to foam up. Once done shaking, double straighten your cocktail into a chilled coupe or martini glass. Look at that. Oh man, that looks good. And for garnish, simply drop three espresso beans on top. And there you have it. The Amaretto Espresso Martini. Whoever loves espresso martinis, they're gonna be blown out of their minds with this. It's pretty much a classic espresso martini, but the great thing about this is that you get a little bit of the vegetal notes from the tequila. You get a little bit of a salinity and bitter quality to it, thanks to the Fernet. If people are scared of bitter ingredients, don't worry about it. You can just opt it out and you would still have an amazing drink. But there we go, we did it. We did three different Amaretto cocktails with this Arona. Uh, let me know in the comments which of the three you think it might be your favorite. Thank you everyone for watching. Please consider subscribing. Smash that like button that helps out the channel a lot. Share with friends and I'll see you all the next one. Cheers. Everybody, what's up? No. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> what? You know I'm gonna put that in the blue. No, you're not gonna put that.